Good afternoon, everyone, and welcome. This is Melissa with the StockSwish.com, and I'm talking about the SPY review here today. It is on its way to the next target, which is 205. Crappy gap today here in the market. Market did gap down, nothing is short. Could you have bought this? Yeah, but it really would have been difficult to do in this setup. You could be long this now that when we're over the high from yesterday and going to the next target was to 205 and the market could fly today. I really did think the market would fly today, except for the gap this morning wasn't setting up ideal for that to happen. But guess what? It's happening anyways. Why? It's strength of the market. It's almost like even with the crappy gap the market had today to go long it, which is you have to go long. You can't do anything but go long this. But even with the crappy gap the market had today, it's still doing what it was going to do anyways, even if it had gapped up. Why? Because the market is perfect. It's beautiful. It's fabulous. And I knew the market would run today, but in an ideal world, it would have opened neutral or up slightly to run instead of gap down in a really crappy gap. So it would have been challenging to go long this. And I think we did ding under the low a little bit, maybe. Yeah, three pennies. But either way, uh, the market's along, and I did think we'd have a big day today, and I said that possibility in the video I did last night. There was a possibility the market would have a big green day today, and if not today, it was going to happen in the next a few days or the next week. Now, this is not big yet. It's medium, but you know, once we start to aggressively get over 205, the potential for the market to run today at this timing, it's 1130. This is nowhere near the close of the day, like absolutely nowhere near the close of the day. <clears throat> Look where we are. So, just really, oh, so beautiful here. So, this is the low of the day in the market for today. And, uh, you know, I have no idea where we go today. It's just power trend now all day here. You, could, you really saw the buying here in the morning. I mean, you really saw the buying come in here into this drop here at 1030. The, it, it just, I remember watching it happen. I happened to look at it at very close to this time frame in this bar. I mean, it was just, shoo, like that came on bounce. It got bought immediately. You see this? This taily thing and the flip on through and it pushed over the high. Got bought immediately. And I felt that the 15 minute would set up as a sell set up here and that people would go short the 15 minute today, but I said it wouldn't go anywhere. And it didn't. I mean, people literally didn't even get like people literally that shorted this, which was the wrong thing to do, even though the market gapped down. And even though people think the market's in a downtrend, it's not. It's just not. Anyways, this thing here, I knew people shorted it and look how they got flipped on through. Shoo, like that. So once again, you don't read trends in reference to pivots. It's not the correct thing to do. How do you read trends? You read gaps. You read the gaps. You understand the overall positioning of the market and what's happening with the price patterns. It's not in reference to the pivots. It's not the higher highs and lower lows to determine the trend of something that's not the right thing to do. You have to learn how to read price action and what's the highest level and most advanced level of price action that exists in a chart on the planet and anything including ETFs or stocks. It's actually gaps. That's one of the reasons I'm so good at reading trends intraday and in the long term. And that's how I can tell the market's strong and that the market's going to continue higher. So a lot of people have a contrary opinion. They think the market is going to crash and fall and it's extended and a million other things, but that's not going to happen. And I don't even know why anyone even think that. Not after yesterday and after the day before, not after today. But yet there are still people that are short this market that are not covering in here. Where will they cover? Where were the shorts the people that are short this market cover? Well, they're definitely going to cover some over 206. But the aggressive short covering will happen like a flurry over 209 and that could even happen in a gap, actually. So look at this here. We're just running right up to 205. Here we go. There's the market. Gorgeous. 1130. This is like so early. It's not even funny for this to be happening. You could buy any pullback on a five minute or 15 minute chart today in the spy or the QQ goes. Market could run another dollar today. Market could run up to 206.25 today. Dream target today for the market is 206.25. And I, 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 I don't even know if like, this is a dream anymore. Actually, dream target today, let's, let's get it right. The dream target today for the market is 207, 207.50. The realistic target is 206, 206.25. Dream target is 207, 207.50 for the market today. <laughs> That's two, two and a half dollars away, but it's 1130. Okay. And the market's getting bought. And I did talk about this all the last. I've been talking about this just not the last week. I've been talking about this the last two months. Every day the market had, the market is still strong. The market is still strong. The market's going to get bought any second, any day, any second, any day, any second, any day. Boop, boop, boop. Here it is. Here it goes. Power money, when it comes in, it takes hold of something. 
and you see it right there. And the power of money was always in charge. It was always in control in the market. And that's why the idea of shortening this market didn't make any sense. The idea of saying that it was in a downtrend didn't make any sense. The idea of saying it was going to crash or break or fall didn't make any sense. The bullish people were still there waiting, waiting. Like, And I saw them. I saw them because I know how to read gaps. If you don't see them, if you don't know how to read gaps, you might have thought this wasn't a downtrend or the start of a downtrend, but it's not. So beautiful bullish market here today in the SPY. This is Melissa with the StockSwitch.com. If you would like to learn how to read trends or gaps or how to trade or how to make money in the market, email me at Melissa at the StockSwitch.com. The next Golden Gap class is this weekend, February 7th and 8th. Have a great day, everybody.